Three, two, one. Hot dog. Hey guys, Karin Dumpling Mac. Aka saw got hat. Mary and I'm Rebecca hat. Morning, little Karin Dumpling. Oh hi, Arnav. So today we are gonna be speaking with um, Summer and Zach, and on Zoom, and we'll be discussing a few things and asking each other a few questions. So this is a way of celebrating. They are celebrating their 5k subscribers and we are celebrating our 20k subscribers milestone. So it'll be a good way to interact and, and you know, just, just, cause you know, we've been friends with them for a while now. So just wanted to, you know, speak to them. We do do WhatsApp calls with them all the time. More like a kind of a planned video where we decided to set a time, you know, have a schedule and, you know, have a Zoom call. We we'll record the Zoom call as well. And then we will, you know, post on our channels. So yeah. You will see the camera view here, and obviously we will share the the zoom view on the other side. Again. So, I guess most of us already know. Mm -hmm. You know, you guys are Korean dumpling. We are um, Summer and Zach. Summer and Zach. And we got to know each other through our, the YouTube channel. Actually, yeah. when we first started our videos, we we were we were we posted a video, and then suddenly we get a we get a comment from Arno. That was me, yeah. Oh. yeah. Because you remember we were actually doing some research to find out if there are more shady couples. More, yes, yes, yes. <coughs> yes and we came across them, and then you know. He commented. Yeah, he commented, oh. and then I also messaged him on Instagram too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and and then actually Zach and Arnav started talking. Yeah. On WhatsApp, right? And then yes, yes, I remember. Yeah, like I was just I was like looking for people on YouTube that I can talk to. Um, you know, we were like. 700 subscribers, we were a small channel and we were trying to grow, we had rebranded to Korean Dumpling because before that it was just Asian Chem Nerd mm -hmm. so we were in this kind of phase where like, like, you know, we need to find more Chinese people, Chinese couples and hopefully, you know, be friends and stuff so I found you, found out you guys, so the, the video I saw was the, you know, we met, like, we met on Tinder and I was like, uh, okay, that's interesting, oh, yeah, yeah. that's quite interesting and I was like, oh, that, that's a really nice channel and then I, I messaged a lot of other channels as well but you guys were the only one who were actually like happy to respond. When we um, the first video we saw was the the Chinese wedding, right? Yes. Right. Uh, it was a, you, know, you guys and you know yes. I was I was kind of giving her a taste of how an Indian wedding would be. Yeah. 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 So nice. Yeah, she, was, nice. she was looking at bags and she's like, oh my god, she looks so stressed. <laughs> it was stressful. <laughs> Hella stressful, man. Like for for her, it was, yeah, yeah. It was like crazy. <clears throat> so today, what we're going to be doing is asking questions to each other. I mean, we're both Chindian couples, but I think, I mean, they're in Canada and we're in the UK. We have very different experiences. So it would be nice to just gauge a bit more about each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we've already prepared some questions and we're just going to fire away with them. What are the things that you dislike the most about each other? Mm. <laughs> I think about this question a lot. <laughs> all the time. Um, I know what is going to be his answer. It's my nagging, like oh. my constant nagging. Okay. <laughs> nagging about. And I, and I like to repeat after myself a lot. I <laughs> guess because because I'm a because it's kind of like my habits when I was working with kids when I'm working with kids. So mm -hmm. I like to repeat myself again and again and again, and annoy the crap out of him. Yeah. And he's like, okay, okay, okay. Like, can you stop? I heard you the first time. And I'm like, if you heard me, give me some response. If you don't give me any sort of response, I'm just yeah. gonna keep going. Yeah. And ask, like, Fair enough. Time. But yes. like, what, 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 what do you nag about, or what does she nag about, Pawan? Like what? everything. Well, usual complaints would be, oh, do this, do that. Mm. Oh, can you do this? Can you do that? Can you pick up this? Can you pick but up then, is it because you've not done it? That's why yeah. someone that has to then like, nag. <laughs> he would just like yeah. come home from work yeah. and then leave all of his clothes on the floor and I'm like... And then he's like, oh, shh, shh, I'm tired. <laughs> just give me a few minutes to, to, you know, chill everything out and mm -hmm. then I'll pick it up, okay? <clears throat> or when I come from a workout and you know, I'm like freaking trying to catch my breath. And she's like, can you, can you please do this? I'm like, I just came home, can you wait for yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For me, for you is first of all, you have a weird humor towards certain things, <laughs> and you would just like start laughing, and I'm like, why? And also, sometimes when I find things that's so funny, and then he he is so serious, 
So we're, we can never find a point where we both find something funny. Oh. <laughs> It's hard because he has he has like like when he when you guys don't know him, like if you just look at him, he he seems like very serious. Like I'm gonna kill someone. That's yeah, basically he how like, people think I am. Mm, yeah, that person. When when they just see me, they think it's unapproachable. Yeah. Right. So that's on purpose. <laughs> well, I guess sometimes I don't know what he's <clears throat> thinking still <laughs> until t- uh, until until today. Like sometimes he just puts on a serious face, and I don't know what he's thinking. And I really, and I really, really hate that because I hate that I don't know what he's thinking or what he's trying to do. You hate that you can't read me too well. And I yes, I hate that sometimes. Mm. Like like what what the heck you're thinking? I guess wow. that's that's one thing that I that I hate about him. Okay, that's okay. I like about you. That went south very quickly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good question, guys. Okay, moving right on. Our question for you actually is like the same question. What are the things you like most about each other? Hmm. Let's start. No, you start. It's important. <laughs> One thing that I love about you the most is caring. You're very okay. caring towards people, families, animals. And that including people that you know and you don't know. You're, you're always very caring. And even though, and I like that, like, you don't, like, you show it in the little things. Like, you don't show the grand gestures, like how they show in the movie and all of that, with, like, 99 roses and all of that. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't do, like, those conventional grand gestures, but you do, like, those little things. That means a lot. How about you? Okay. For me, I would say your calmness, mm-hmm. you're very collective and calm in general, in okay. general. Okay. And mm-hmm. especially because I'm so energetic most of the time, mm-hmm. I'm on top of my feet all the time and I'm very, you know, I'm very sh- strategic with the way I think, mm-hmm. the, the way I do things, even the tiniest things. Mm-hmm. And I stress myself out very quickly because of oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel that one of the best balances that we have in our relationship is that you are so calm. Mm-hmm. It's because when I'm so energetic and you just come to me and be like, Zach, calm down. It'll happen. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. Calm mm-hmm. down. Yeah. I'm in general like very calm and positive and chill. Yeah. Like <laughs> That's a good combination. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. I'm, 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 just, I'm just chill. Like... like I don't like to give myself stress or give stress mm. to anybody around me too as well. I mean, we can talk about that. <laughs> I mean, it's the next part, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's for us. It's yeah, universe. it's the opposite for us. I'm the one that's always stressed out and then you're the I'm one I'm the one like, calming, clever. chilling, you know, just calming other people's down. Yeah. I as, guess it always has to be sort of a balance. In yeah, the exactly. Yeah. You need that yin and yang kind of... Yeah, like if both are stressed out, then then the relationship is not going to work. But yeah. if both are like too chill, and they'd be like, well, whatever. Mm-hmm. Or just let the day go by and not... Exactly, exactly. Yet. So you need that balance. Yeah. So I for guess sure, for sure. We, are, we both are the, the perfect balance. That's why our relationship works. No, mm-hmm. that's a... Fair point, and that's how it should be. Yeah. What is your favorite fruit food from the other person's culture? Well, I guess we can switch one, say the same thing. No, I mean, you... from my culture. Yeah. Switch one, we can say the same thing. Okay. Switch two, one. That was, um, that was that was yeah. what, 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 what did you say Zach? I said hanla todo. Hanla todo it's like those uh, like dry chili pepper potatoes. Oh. oh. Potatoes with some dry chili powder, some soy sauce mixed together. It's that like sounds good. Sort of that sounds really good. <laughs> yeah. So it's a single dish. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a strange dish. But I thought you were going to say hot pot together. <laughs> yeah, I, I really thought you would say hot pot. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were gonna say hot pot as well. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we're all expecting hot pot. Like, like she mentioned, right? It's hard to read me most of the time. So. Uh-huh. 
That is but right. I also think you want to show off your like very limited Mandarin skills. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Those Probably. are like what the limited vocabularies that he knows from Mandarin. I mean, that's the only thing I can order. If I go to a Mandarin restaurant, <laughs> if I go to a Chinese restaurant, that's the only thing I can order. Yeah, I know. I can be like, come out to the window, like, oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> and, um, for me, for me, it was hot pot food. <laughs> for me, I don't know. It's a, oh, I know, I know, I know. Um, pani puri. Oh, I love pani puri. Yeah. Oh, definitely my favorite. Really, I thought you were gonna say korma. Korma. Um, Korma is after that because I like how Pani Puri, Sepuri, yeah, Sepuri, Sepuri, the one that he took me to an Indian grocery store. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw that Instagram story of yours. The store, and oh, I, I saw that, yeah. Yeah, that was good. It's so good. So you like Bombay chart basically. Bombay chart is basically what you Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Bombay mm. street food. Bombay street food yeah. is pretty dope, oh, dope, yeah, I have to say. Yeah. Sepuri is sort of favorite. Sepuri, yes. Mm. Nice. Who is better at speaking the other person's language? Three, two, one, and one point. Okay. Okay. <coughs> three, three, two, oh, wait. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. 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 Fair I enough. I can speak a lot more Mandarin than she can speak Hindi. Uh. I try. Like, whenever we watch a movie or like, like, um, like you know during the movie they have the song right the body movie they yeah. have the song <clears throat> and i always try to follow the songs and like dance and then follow the lyrics and i say like is it how you sing it is it how you sing it and then he always laughs at me just, that that discouraged me and i'm like i'm trying to learn hindi here and like you're just laughing and say like i don't have any idea what you're saying yeah. or singing mm -hmm. so i guess it's 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 hard for me it's hard but do you teach each other the like phrases or stuff? He doesn't have the, he the doesn't, patience. He doesn't oh. really have the patience to teach to 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 teach me the Hindi. And I don't have I, patience in general. I'm very impatient. Yeah, he he is like like I often call him like a grumpy toddler inside. <laughs> like a five seconds patience. You guys you guys saw it the b before the Zoom meeting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's just a norm. That's a norm. That's the worst. <laughs> the only, the only person I'm patient with is it's our bunny. Bunny or the budgie. Yeah. Oh. Like I'm, I'm more patient with animals because I know that they don't have and the, I guess babies you know, too. the mind to actually understand. So I'm more right. patient with them. Mm -hmm. Babies as well because I know they haven't developed the, the you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. patient or you know to understand things better. Makes sense. Well, when it comes to adults, I'm less patient with them. Mm. Who does more work for the YouTube channel? And what do you do? Yeah, how do you spread it? Yeah. Mm. The workload, YouTube workload. Work. Wow. Three to one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. More work. No, no, three to one, it's obvious. <laughs> it is obvious. She does more work. She's, yeah. She puts in a lot of time into this. I like editing. Uh, like, initially, he, he, he was doing it. But then he, again, he is not patient. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He got at little things. And then, like, he's not patient, but he wants to focus on those detailed things as mm. well. Just like so it, it, Yeah. He goes back and forth, back and forth, and do it for a long time. And he got really annoyed, and I'm like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to start doing it. Mm. So I started doing it, and I said, I like it. So I started editing the videos, and... Do the thumbnails and upload the videos and do the descriptions. Now I realize he didn't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's dead. Oh, yeah, he helps with the comments. Uh, okay. I deal with a lot of, you know, the hate on comments, you know. Yeah. I, I'll read comments and all. Um, also, I'm actually taking over the Instagram and I'm phasing out and oh, taking yeah. care of the Instagram. Uh, the social media, Facebook not as much because mm. you know nobody uses Facebook anymore. Mm. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, I think I think eighty percent of the work is done by her. But the thing is, like I like normally, so it's so normally during the weekend we would just shoot the videos, and then throughout the week I'm going to edit it. So uh, it's not it's more like after a long day of work, it's more like a like a divert of attention for me. Uh, uh, right. All of the work, so. 
I so that's why I guess I'm actually enjoying it because mm-hmm. I think it's 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 like a hobby for me. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's like a job for me. Right. So, yeah. Thanks. And then plan we do it together usually. And planning videos. Yeah. Which is fun for us too, especially for vlogging and story time videos. Mm-hmm. Like we would think of things that if we don't actually sit down and do it and talk to each other about it, we would never actually do it. Yeah. Like talk about our first date, how we met. Like if we don't do the channel, we would never sit down for like an hour and talk about it. Hey, let's talk about our first date. Yeah. Let's yeah. talk about our best moments together. Let's yeah. have a Q and A for each other. Exactly. You know? So yeah. Yeah. How well do you think you would cope if you had to swap lives for the day, and how well do you think the other person would cope? Like swap each other's lives. If if yeah, you two. If we switch our lives. Yeah, like if, if, if summer switch. summer lived Zach's life and Zach lived summer's life. I think I'll be bored. Oh. <laughs> but then you are thinking. Oh wait, no, actually, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a legit reason, yeah. Okay, but the thing that you but the thing that you like to do, I don't like to do. Ah, okay. very simple. No, and have like like sit down with your friends and have whiskey and have a chat for like three hours. No, and run, run. No, <laughs> biking. No, he like he likes to listen to rock songs. Okay, mm. like whenever like whenever I I sit in the car and. He started the car and then the music is so loud. I'm like, like just uh, suddenly you, the, the rock music is just like so loud. Like I said, I listen to podcasts in the car. I listen to audiobooks when I'm driving. I I put it on high because I need to listen. Uh, and when I unplug my phone, the radio starts playing automatically mm. and it just blasts music. How is it yeah. my fault? And, 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 oh, now I remember, like, goes all the way back to... One thing that I dislike about you, he likes to he likes to win an argument. Oh. As you guys can, I'm very competitive. It's, very it's, competitive. By like, nature. Yeah. Um, if I had to switch life with you, first of all, <laughs> I would actually be bored too. <laughs> no like, way. First of all, I don't like taking care of kids. You like eating kids. You like you know. And then continue, continue. Yeah. So you like taking care of kids, you know. I'm not too good so at that. you like kids. I mean, I like kids, but it's because they're cute. But when it comes to changing diapers and all, I'm not. I'm not I don't know. Okay. And then you know, your life is very calm and mellow. I can't. I can't be peaceful with being calm and mellow. Yeah. I need to have some sort of excitement. I need to have some sort of adventure. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, I just get bored. I have excitement before COVID, like a girls' night and all. <laughs> night is, you know, just going to a club, dancing to them. That's it. <laughs> nothing else. Nothing. Nothing different, you know. Okay. Hmm. I I'm so, more of the type of guy who likes to push himself, you know, do things I'm not comfortable with, yeah. like taking ice cold showers early in the morning. That's something. That's crazy. <laughs> so. I'm sure she's gonna hear all of that, and I'm sure yeah. if we switch lives, we're never gonna be happy. No, I don't. I, I don't think so. Cause, cause I like to, again, I, I I'm very chill. I like to live my life like very chill and mm-hmm. stress free and just, just, just doing what I'm happy, mm-hmm. what I feel happy about. But for him, he is not. He he's really come like get. Um, calm and getting too like comfortable about what's going on in his life he's always looking for something new something like more challenging to do mm-hmm. which is also why he is more stressed <laughs> comparing to me <clears throat> so i guess no it wouldn't it wouldn't work out <laughs> i guess you probably just switch back if you had to yeah i guess so that was a good question, actually. Yeah. What was the worst comment you've received, or one that sticks in your mind? Not one of the worst, but the one, of, but the one that stick in my head the most. It's like the one that's saying that I'm a Chinese spy. Because <laughs> I, cause, cause I quite like it. Like, <laughs> it's weird to feel that way, because I quite like it. Because that's the first time that ever somebody said like, "Oh, you look like Chinese spy." Yeah. I quite like it. 
like it's I know it's it's like a negative comment. But yeah. It's a it's just memorable for me, and also because that was actually one of the first few negative comments that we get as we start growing our channels. Those are one of the most common ones too. Yeah, because because initially when we first started, I, like we we don't really get them much of attention, right? So it's all like oh like uh, like the positive one, but yeah. as we start to grow a little bit, that was actually one of the first that pops up. But that's. But now, like, because we're getting more and more, now we're just like, well, it's the same old. Yeah. Same old. Yeah. If you say it's just the same thing, but with like different little words, combinations. So, yeah. What about you? Mm. There's so many. So <laughs> many. One of the most memorable ones. Oh, like, yeah. One of the most memorable ones that kind of stuck with me was. The guy calling me uneducated because I don't know anything about my country. Okay. Mm. Yeah. That's so unnecessary. Lived, I've lived in Canada for four or five years now. Mm. I don't know anything that's going on in India right now. Mm-hmm. I don't keep track of the news because the news screws with your head even more. Mm-hmm. So I tend to dry, drift away from news channels and you know what's going on in the world. I don't like reading news unless it's something that, you know, is something happy. Mm-hmm. I just tend to drift away from all of, all of the news. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's that's the only thing. And unlike her, I don't ignore comics. Uh, Good right. or bad, I am going to give you my peace of mind. If you piss me off enough, you will feel the rut, basically. <laughs> I'm not the type of guy who lets go anything that easy. And I don't, you know, I'm not rude on the comments, but I'm very witty when I respond. Mm. If somebody is being, you know, negative to me. Like personal attack. Yeah. I'm if you saying. attack personally, I'm going to attack everybody, you know. Yeah. But <laughs> you mean. Fair, so, fair. Yeah. A lot of the people who probably will be watching this notice that, you know, we comment on cer- certain videos because I'm not going to take shit from anybody. Mm. You don't know what my life has been. You don't yeah. know how I've lived my life, how I've, you know, been here, how I've struggled through life. We all struggle through shit, but don't make an assumption that, you know, I'm uneducated because I'm with her or because I don't know anything about my country. Simple as it is. Well, your last question um, is kind of like, it's a two in one. So it was, why did you decide to start your YouTube channel and is it going in the direction that you thought or that you wanted it to go? Before we started our channel, our act- actually our relationship kind of like, like going into it was, a dip. It was, it was going like down. This. It was ah. going down. Like we, we're not talking to each other as often. We were in our own we worlds. You know, know, worlds and I don't know, it just pro- probably we're getting too used to each other mm-hmm. and we're not, and we're taking everything for granted, for granted. Mm-hmm. we're not we were not appreciating each other anymore and um so so then so then and we had like arguments pretty much every day before mm-hmm. we started our channel so our relationship was kind of like going down mm-hmm. so then so then <laughs> one day he he suggested he's like let's start our youtube channel that you wanted to do before mm-hmm. and then i was like why and then he said Let's just do it and then see where it takes us. And then and then we started doing it. And then when we one after our first videos, our relationship kind of like it started. We started, started seeing to, the positivity yeah. and you know um, talking about how we actually felt. It was YouTube was like our counselor basically. Yeah. You know, our couple counselor where we yeah. speak about things that we like, we dislike about each other. You know, yeah. we speak about our experiences. Yeah. It actually started forcing us to do things we weren't comfortable with. Yeah, That's and to tell enough. each other things that we appreciate each other more. Because I know, like, one thing you are in a relationship for so long, you're just, and especially you live with each other together, you just, you don't see the, the part that you normally see, the good things. Yeah. Yeah. And the idea behind starting a YouTube channel was to improve our own relationship. Yeah. You know, do things we weren't comfortable with. Yeah. And it was like an adventure for us, basically. It was yeah. like every day, every week was an adventure. 
actually, what we do. It actually helped our relationship quite a bit. That actually did. Es especially after our first few videos. Yeah. Yeah. I, actually, I don't. I don't think we would have I, been together I, probably. I, otherwise, I actually thought that we would break up at that point. Oh. But okay. in the end, yeah, we worked it out. I'm really glad that he brought it up, like the mm. idea of actually starting the the, the channel. Oh, that's, that's, that's really, really good. Really good yeah. yeah. Just, like to start talking to each other mm. more like one i think one good thing about youtube is like like three years later if you look at the old videos yeah it brings up so many memories yeah. and like oh you know those days i mean we're you know we're, uh, yeah. we were living in a student like, dome a whatever. lot of times it's like quite cringeworthy yeah like sometimes he'll go back at my really old videos from like when like, i first like started yeah seven years ago and i was using my macbook camera yeah. and it was in the dark and it was just Everything was bad, and he'd be like, "Oh, look at this!" I'm like, "Please don't." <laughs> but yeah, it, 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 it's good to see those old times yeah. and be like, "Okay, you know, you have, you've come so far." Yeah. And you know, yeah. those days. Yeah. yeah. So it's a good way to document mm. your life, and yeah. if people enjoy those videos, even it's, 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 yeah. it's icing on the cake, really. Even if we get, even if you have an argument now. If I'm pissed off at something, I go to YouTube and I see some of our old videos, mm. and instantly. I smile. Instantly, yeah. I want to go back to her and talk to her and be like, mm. you know, I'm sorry for whatever happened. Let's, let's just, you know, yeah. move on. Yeah. Right? And to answer your second question, if you think it's going where it's supposed to, we never expected where we were going to be here. To be honest, no. we had no expectations with this. We're just like, let's it was... do it. If, if it doesn't work out, we're just uh, kind of like documenting our lives. Yeah. If it works out, great. If people. If people end up liking us and wanting us to make more videos, then mm -hmm. we'll just keep going. Yeah. That's cool. That's it was cool, more yeah. of an experiment, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which was a successful one. I mean, we've got to meet a lot of people here. Yeah. You know, us, a lot of our subscribers are freaking amazing. You know, when yeah. we read some comments about them saying, you guys are cute together, you guys are yeah. really way together. It makes us feel happy. It makes yeah. us... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To see, like, how many people out there in india also are you know supporting yeah. supporting um to indian couples and also understanding that you know it's not it's not the people it's, yeah. it's mm. the government or it's the the media right that's, that's good to know yeah yes. plus we get to meet you guys so yeah, yeah. That works out. that's like yeah. the bonus point the biggest yeah. bonus point <laughs> it'll be nice the day we actually are like physically in front yeah. of each other and we can oh, be so nice like we imagine, a, imagine a tr we do a trip, we go to India together, and we have like a I don't know the whole vlog series planned. Yeah, that'll be so cool. That would be cool. We that should, so we nice. should actually. You know what? Maybe we should, we should plan something once COVID is done. Yeah, I'd love plan that. Plan together. Yeah. We can vlog together for you know a week or two for how long we are yeah, actually traveling. Yeah. That'd be so nice. And spend some time together. I, yeah, I think we should. Each we, other sh too. we should do both. Like we should visit India and we should visit China. Both. Like yeah. that, that'll be really cool. China, yeah. UK, Toronto. Everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. It's just yeah. a world yeah. tour. <laughs> It'll yeah. be nice to nice to nice to meet you guys. Yeah. I'm so happy to have this with you guys. Now yeah. for the yeah. people watching, um, we've spoken to each other on video chats before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I feel like after today, like after actually talking to each other for so long, we actually know each other a lot better now. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Because usually on, on WhatsApp, it's, it's like, we talk for like 30 minutes and that's yeah. it. And we don't really ask very personal no, questions. No, it's more like, how are you doing? How you doing? But yeah. today was very like, you know, deep yeah. questions and, and, and yeah. And we'll, we're going to do the same thing and leave links down for Summer and Zach's channel. Mm. and. We have 20k subscribers, so if some of you can go and subscribe to them, channel. then we can also bring them up to 20k too. Yeah, that'd be nice. So, yeah, I mean, 20k, pour them some, and then your 5k, you pour them some. <laughs> and both of us are 25k, everybody's <laughs> happy. Let's share each other's love. Exactly. Yeah. Support Chinese couples, support the Indian and Chinese combo. Mm -hmm. Let's so, make, you know, the war between India and China a lot better, no more wars, mm -hmm. just love. Yeah. So yeah, if you've if you've not subscribed to our channel, make okay. sure you subscribe to our channel and also to Summer and Zach's channel because you know both of us are involved right now. There is no competition. You yeah. know we are trying to grow a community of you know interracial, especially Indian Chinese couples. 
So, you know, do subscribe to our channel and, 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 you know, leave us a like. If you liked the video, if you didn't like the video, press the dislike button twice so we know you really disliked it. And yeah, leave a lot of lovely comments and we will probably do another video very soon. And hopefully meet these guys sooner than later. We will meet each other in person. Mm -hmm. And guys, make sure you guys leave a comment down below. What do you think about this video? Do you have any more questions you're interested in knowing about, you know, curry dumpling about us? If you guys want us to see and do it, do this again, let us know. Maybe we can do a live stream together. Maybe we can Ooh, you know, do something yeah. together. Yeah. And please guys, show a lot of love to these guys. These guys are freaking amazing. They're some of the best people we've met on YouTube. Including our subscribers, of course. Make sure you stick a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to us and also to Karen Dumplings. Yes.